When a car is past its prime, people usually trade it for a better model or sell the parts for extra cash. However, in some unusual cases, these cars are left to rust in isolation, completely abandoned by their owners. From a Koenigsegg dumped in a parking lot to a lost Bugatti. Join us today as we explore 20 most incredible abandoned cars that actually exist. Number 20. Koenigsegg Trevita. The owner of this car deserves some credit for at least leaving it in a garage rather than exposing it to harsh weather outside. Despite this, the car was still abandoned. Only three Koenigsegg Trevitas exist worldwide, and one currently sits neglected in a parking lot. A car this rare and incredibly fast deserves to be treated with more respect. The company that rented out the parking space was shocked to discover the car there. By the time anyone noticed, parking fees had accrued to 1,000 Swiss francs, or roughly $1,000. The owner appears to have a tendency for short-lived relationships with expensive cars. After acquiring another luxury vehicle, they promptly abandoned this one. This pattern of behavior is puzzling, especially given the car's rarity and value. Number 19. Bugatti Type 57S only 17 Bugatti Type 57's cars were ever produced, and this one has been stored in a facility for nearly 40 years. From 1960 onwards, this Bugatti was garaged and never driven again. It saw very little use before being left to languish. So much fun. Ah! On the bright side, the car was kept in a garage, providing minimal preservation. Such an old Bugatti is incredibly rare today, and its value has only increased over time, much like a fine wine aging gracefully. When the owner passed away in 2007, the family was shocked to discover this hidden treasure. The car's limited availability increased its demand and it was expected to fetch a high price at auction. The family hoped it would sell for over $5,000, turning the abandoned car into a financial windfall. Number 18, 1964, GT, 40, a section of this car sticks out of the ground as if it were buried alive. The abandonment of this 1964 GT40 is truly baffling. In its prime, this car was an unstoppable racing machine, winning numerous titles. Now it rests in obscurity in a barn barely recognizable from its glory days. Would you believe this was a 1964 GT40? Most would assume it's just another old, neglected car. The vehicle isn't in bad condition, it was simply treated poorly for decades. It might have been forgotten forever if not for some children helping their parents dispose of garbage. Ironically, the super racing car was found by kids during a cleanup. It's heartbreaking to see a car of this caliber abandoned like trash with no attempts at restoration. Instead of leaving it to decay in a barn, the owner could have sold it as a used vehicle and made some money. Sadly, this didn't happen and the car was left in a terrible state. Number 17. Jaguar XJ220 There's something incredibly sad about seeing an abandoned car left on the streets, collecting dirt and dust, with no hope of a wash in sight. It's even more disheartening when that car is one of the rarest on the planet, the Jaguar XJ220. This car was one of Jaguar's most unexpected successes, born from a dream of the then chief designer, Jim Randall. However, this particular XJ220, found by Mick Bramley of Crank and Piston somewhere in the Qatari desert, didn't receive the care it deserved. The car is covered in dust and deteriorating every day. The reasons behind its abandonment remain a mystery. Owning such a rare vehicle would be a dream for any car enthusiast, yet this one languishes, neglected, and forgotten. Number 16. The Baylon Collection. In May 2014, a Paris auction company discovered the Baylon Collection, consisting of 60 vintage automobiles in western France. These cars had been sitting untouched for nearly 50 years. French entrepreneur Roger Baylon began collecting vehicles in the 1950s with the dream of opening an automobile museum. Over the years, he amassed 120 rare and highly sought-after cars, some with incredible histories. Unfortunately, Roger suffered an economic setback in the 1970s, 
leading him to abandon the remaining 60 vehicles on a farm, stored in a corrugated iron shelter and shed. Among the collection is a 1961 Ferrari 250 GT California Spider, estimated to be worth between $11.8 to $14.8 million, along with many other valuable cars. The collection was set for auction at the Retromobile Salon in Paris in February 2015 and was expected to fetch around 12 million euros, or just over $15 million. Number 15. The Rolls-Royce Phantom It is tragic to see a limited edition Rolls-Royce abandoned and left to deteriorate. The Centurion Rolls-Royce edition is a one-of-a-kind vehicle in the world. Its careless owner abandoned it, leaving it with no proper place to stay. Some people who found it speculated about making room for it in their driveways, but hoped the original owner would return, which never happened. Rumors suggest that this deserted Rolls-Royce was initially owned by a Las Vegas celebrity and later sold to a Russian buyer. It somehow ended up in this unexpected location, neglected and in poor condition. A Rolls-Royce of such caliber should not suffer such shameful neglect. Number 14. Bugatti, Veyron Over the years, many abandoned supercars have been discovered, often under unbelievable circumstances. However, finding a Bugatti Veyron in such a vulnerable state is particularly shocking. This Bugatti was involved in an accident and its owner decided to abandon it rather than repair it. The car was covered with ash, suggesting a ritualistic burial. The damage to the trunk and rear bumper indicates a collision. Surprisingly, this is the second luxury vehicle on the list abandoned in Russia, following the Rolls-Royce. This Bugatti was hit by an Aston Martin, and a small scratch on the trunk lid ended its road life. Keeping it clean would have been better than letting it gather dust. Abandoning a Bugatti is akin to burning $2 million and watching it turn to ashes. No rational person would do this unless they had a fortune to last generations. Number 13. Lamborghini Diablo It's heartbreaking to see such an extraordinary car as the Lamborghini Diablo left to decay among a herd of goats. Introduced in 1990 as the successor to the legendary Countach, the Diablo marked a new era for Lamborghini after Chrysler acquired the company in 1987. The name Diablo, meaning devil in Spanish, was chosen to signify its fierce performance and design. Marcello Gandini, the designer behind the Countach, also crafted the Diablo's iconic look. Features like the slant front end, steeply raked windshield, and scissor doors made it one of the classiest cars ever made. Sadly, this particular Diablo has been abandoned in the open, its condition deteriorating daily. No one knows exactly how or when it ended up there, but it's now left to be admired only by goats, a tragic end for such a masterpiece. Number 12. 1957. Plymouth Belvedere Sport Coupe A brand new gold and white 1957. Plymouth Belvedere was once carefully preserved in cosmoline wax and placed inside a giant concrete vault. This was intended to provide a snapshot of 1957 civilization for future generations in 2007. Expectations were high for the car to emerge shiny and perfect. However, when the vault was opened, the car was found to be a rusty heap of metal. The engine was in such poor condition that it was unlikely ever to start again. While the other contents of the time capsule were unharmed, the car had lost all its former glory. Despite attempts to restore it costing $15,000, efforts were ultimately abandoned. In 2015, it was decided that Miss Belvedere would be permanently displayed at the Historic Auto Attractions Museum in Roscoe, Illinois. Number 11. Aston Martin DB5 James Bond's Silver Birch Aston Martin DB5 in Goldfinger inspired countless fantasies and is often called the most famous car in the world. The DB5, considered one of the most aesthetically pleasing cars ever made, had a limited production run. It was built to compete with sports cars from Ferrari and Maserati. The particular model featured here had not been moved for nearly a century. 
Built in the United Kingdom in 1960, it was shipped to the United States the same year and registered in 1961. The car was parked outside the owner's Massachusetts home in the early 1970s and remained there until recently. For nearly 50 years, it deteriorated, hidden from view by trees and buried in leaves up to its rusty wheels. Classic cars often reappear after years hidden in barns, but it is rare for such a valuable vehicle to emerge from a woodland. Despite its condition, the car is still repairable and holds great value. It was sold at the first Scottsdale auction held by Worldwide Auctioneers in January 2017, with an estimated price range between $500,000 and $585,000, highlighting its enduring worth. Time for the fancy topic. In a surprising discovery, an abandoned luxury car was found deep in a forest, far from any road. The sleek Lamborghini, once a symbol of speed and wealth, sat rusting among the trees and undergrowth. Local hikers stumbled upon the vehicle during a routine trek, their excitement quickly turning to curiosity about its origins. The car's once shiny exterior was now covered in rust and grime, with shattered windows and a flat tire. Inside, the leather seats were torn and the dashboard was coated with dust and cobwebs. It was clear the car had been there for years, but how it got there remained a mystery. Authorities were called to the scene and an investigation was launched. They discovered no signs of a crash or foul play. The car had no registration or identifying marks, adding to the intrigue. Speculations ranged from a stolen vehicle dumped by thieves to a secret getaway gone wrong. This unexpected find has left the local community buzzing with theories and questions. Who left this luxury car in the middle of nowhere? What is its story? Have you ever stumbled upon something unusual during a hike? What do you think happened to this Lamborghini? What do you think of this? Let us know in the comments with the hashtag fancy topic. Number 10. Ferrari Daytona The Ferrari 365 GTB4, more commonly known as the Daytona, was discovered in Japan after being hidden away for nearly 40 years. This particular model is especially unique, as it is the only road-going alloy Daytona in existence. The story of this car is as remarkable as the vehicle itself. In 1969, a personal friend of Enzo Ferrari, the legendary founder of Ferrari, became the proud owner of Daytona chassis number 112653. This personal connection to Enzo Ferrari adds a significant layer of historical value to the car. The car was transported to Japan in 1971, marking the beginning of its journey in Asia. Over the years, it changed hands three times with each owner appreciating the rarity and craftsmanship of the vehicle. Despite its multiple changes in ownership, the car remained largely unknown to the public quietly waiting to be rediscovered. In 2017, this forgotten gem was brought to light once again when RM Sotheby's auctioned the Daytona, complete with its original layer of dust accumulated over decades. The car fetched an impressive $1,860,000 at auction, reflecting its immense value and the high regard in which it is held by collectors and enthusiasts alike. The new owner, recognizing the car's historical significance and rarity, generously lent it to the Ferrari Museum. This act of generosity allowed countless visitors to admire this rare find, appreciating both its beauty and its unique place in automotive history. Despite its barn find condition, the Daytona remains highly coveted. Its allure lies not just in its rarity but also in the story it tells, a story of a bygone era of automotive excellence. The car's journey from Italy to Japan and its eventual return to the spotlight is a testament to the enduring appeal of Ferrari's craftsmanship. The substantial price it fetched at auction is a reflection of its status as a collector's dream, and the ongoing interest in the car underscores the timeless fascination with Ferrari's legacy. In addition to its unique status as the only road-going alloy Daytona, the car's engineering and design also contribute to its desirability. The Daytona was renowned for its performance, featuring a V12 engine capable of reaching speeds that made it one of the fastest cars of its time. The alloy body not only reduced weight, but also enhanced its performance capabilities, making it a marvel of automotive engineering. The discovery and subsequent auction of this car brought a piece of automotive history back into the limelight, allowing a new generation of enthusiasts to appreciate its legacy. The winning bid was $483,210, which did not meet the reserve. 
Number 9. Ferrari 456 GT Seeing a Ferrari 456 GT left to rot in Tokyo's extreme climate is a sad sight. This model was part of Luca di Montezemolo's vision to revive Ferrari by returning to its roots. Now this customized car sits abandoned, enduring Tokyo's chilly winters, rainy seasons, and hot, humid summers. The exterior is in poor condition, with the yellow paint on the logos nearly worn away and the clear coat peeling to reveal the underlying paint layers. Plants have started growing into the car, adding to its decay. Restoring this car would be possible, but very expensive. Before even hoping that the 5.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine would start, the car would need a new coat of paint, new tires, and a brake overhaul. Even then, further investments would be needed to bring it back to its former glory. It's heartbreaking to see a Ferrari in such a state left for nature to reclaim. Number 8. 1976. Lotus Esprit. It might seem impossible, but an abandoned car sold for $1 million. This happened with a 1976 Lotus Esprit, which made a memorable appearance in the James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. The car was discovered in an unclaimed storage unit, hidden away from the world. A couple bought the unit in a blind auction, not knowing what was inside. When they opened it, they found the famous Lotus Esprit sports car, which transforms into a submarine and fires missiles in the film. Initially unaware of the car's significance, they had it cosmetically restored and listed it with Sotheby's. In 2013, the car was sold at auction to a secret buyer, who later revealed himself as Elon Musk. Musk paid $997,000 for the vehicle. Though frustrated that the car couldn't actually transform, Musk still had plans for it. While he didn't create an underwater car, he did develop one of the most anticipated pickup trucks in recent history. It's just a bit disappointing that he didn't call it the Lotus truck. Number 7. Dodge Charger. Daytona. The Dodge Charger Daytona was one of the most spectacularly designed Dodges ever made. It was used as a homologation model for Dodge stock cars in NASCAR races, with only 505 ever produced. One of these rare cars was found rusting and decaying in a barn in Wisconsin. Despite its condition, this car is worth close to $180,000. The Dodge Daytona originally cost about $4,000 brand new, and this particular model had only two owners. Nearly all of its components were still original, except for a flame paint job. The rear wing, front bucket seats, dashboard clock, speedometer cluster, tachometer assembly, and floor transmission shifter were all original. The car had not been driven for almost 30 years, but the Dodge 440 Magnum V8 engine and the Torque Flight 3-speed auto transmission were still intact. The car's history and the reasons for its abandonment remain unknown. It is scheduled for auction and is expected to sell for around $150,000 to $180,000. Number 6. Lamborghini Miura P400S The Lamborghini Miura P400S epitomized the jet-setting lifestyle of its time. Unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in 1966, it was one of Bertone's finest designs by Marcello Gandini. This car could turn heads on the best streets of New York, London, or Paris. As a P400S, it featured upgrades such as electric windows and an improved engine. It also had optional air conditioning, essential in hot climates. Unique to this model were engraved alloy air vents, passenger grab handles, gear lever, electric window switches, and ignition switch surrounds. It was the fastest car of the 1960s. One such model, however, did not receive the glory it deserved and was found in the underground car park of the Athens Hilton. The owner, who fancied himself a race car driver, left the exotic vehicle to rot in the hotel garage for nearly 30 years after pushing it to its limits. Significant damage and changes were done to the car, and while the engine was out for repair, he left it in the hotel garage. He then abandoned the car and failed to pay for the repairs. The garage held the car for 30 years. In 2003, during hotel renovations for the 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens, the Lamborghini was moved to a storage facility next to a Scarlet Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing in similar disrepair. The car eventually went to auction in 2012 with a new engine, 
the winning bid was $483,210, which did not meet the reserve. Number 5. Mercedes SLR McLaren The Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren is a grand tourer developed jointly by Mercedes-Benz and McLaren Automotive. At the time, Mercedes-Benz owned 40% of the McLaren Group, and together, they produced top-tier cars like the SLR McLaren. This limited edition model has sadly been abandoned since 2011. The iconic hypercar from the mid-2000s was seized by police and has been sitting in a police parking complex ever since. The vehicle remains off-limits until local law enforcement concludes its investigation, which has been ongoing for many years. The car may need extensive maintenance before it can be driven again, having been exposed to the elements for six years. Electronics could be ruined by rats, other creatures, or the weather, and key components, including the engine and brakes, could be seized. If the car is released from police custody, it will likely be auctioned off. In its heyday, the SLR McLaren competed against the Porsche Carrera GT and the Ferrari Enzo, focusing more on GT driving than pure performance. Powered by a 5.4-liter supercharged V8 engine delivering 617 horsepower, it's remembered as a classic supercar from the German brand. Sadly, this one sits abandoned behind a police station. Number 4. Shelby GT500 what you're seeing is the shell of a Shelby GT500 abandoned in a park. Trees, shrubs, and foliage have overtaken the engine bay, and the Shelby is missing its hood, now replaced by vibrant green plant life. It's hard to understand how a 1967 Shelby GT500 ended up rotting in a yard for nearly 20 years. No one knows who parked it there or when it was abandoned. Back when it had someone to care for it, cosmetic work was done to upgrade it to a 1968 model for promotional use by a local car dealership in the United States. That dealership is long gone, and the car has become a lost cause. The once iconic vehicle is now just another piece of forgotten history, slowly being reclaimed by nature. Number 3. Ferrari F40 the Ferrari F40 was built to compete with the Porsche 959 and quickly became a favorite among drivers worldwide, making it onto many people's wish lists. It was the last car personally approved by Enzo Ferrari and was among the most expensive and powerful vehicles of its time. One such Ferrari F40 was gifted to Uday Hussein, the son of former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein, during the First Gulf War. Uday, known for his expensive car collection, kept the Ferrari until his assassination by U.S. Special Forces in 2003. After Uday's death, rumors began circulating about the Ferrari rotting away in an unknown desert location. This piqued the interest of car enthusiasts, including YouTuber Radha Rasa, who embarked on a mission to find the abandoned car and bring it back to the UK for repairs. Radha Rasa made a video showcasing the Ferrari and included photos of the car covered in sand. He asked viewers to help pinpoint the location, which was identified as Erbil, the capital of Iraqi Kurdistan. Radha Rasa contacted Chris from Gas Monkey Garage, who was also searching for the car. Chris flew to Iraq to evaluate the Ferrari himself. He found that the engine was missing intercoolers and was covered in sand, making it in poor shape. Moving the car out of Iraq and into the UK would have been a logistical nightmare, so no deal was made. The car is now kept in a garage, and its current owner is asking $1,150,000 for it, making it an expensive piece to be just lying around. Number 2. Mercedes 300 SL for years, rumors circulated about a rusted and abandoned Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing sitting on the island of Cuba. This car's existence was brought to wider attention by Jeremy Clarkson in the Motor World series in 1996 and by Michael E. Ware in Automobiles Lost and Found in 2008. However, it was unclear whether the car was real or just a myth. Antique car enthusiast and globetrotter Miguel Llorente decided to make a two-week trip to Cuba to find the fabled Gullwing after hearing it might be rotting away somewhere on the island. Armed with a plan, he searched wealthy areas of Havana and other places, questioning mechanics, parts store clerks, and others for any leads. He showed them images of the car taken by Michael E. Ware, almost as if he were looking for a missing child. 
Since these cities were not small settlements, he welcomed any information and followed even the vaguest clues. After several unsuccessful leads, Miguel finally spotted the famous Cuban gullwing amidst debris and rubble under a tree, almost broken in half but still identifiable. Miguel's perseverance paid off, and he found the treasure he had set out to discover. The car is now featured on Miguel's calendar, along with 11 other cars he photographed during his trip. He had to narrow down from 25,000 pictures taken during his journey. Number 1. Bugatti Under the Lake a marvel like the Bugatti deserves to be on the road, not at the bottom of a lake. There had been long-standing rumors about a Bugatti in Lake Maggiore on the Italian-Swiss border, which turned out to be true. In 1934, René Dreyfus, a Grand Prix driver, lost his 1925 Bugatti Type 22 Roadster in a drunken poker game to a Swiss playboy in Paris. The playboy took the car but was halted at the Swiss border because he had no money to pay the import charges. He left the car with Swiss officials, who eventually rolled it into the lake, where it sank 173 feet below the water. In 1967, a local diving club saw the Bugatti for the first time when deep diving equipment overcame the 29 fathoms of water pressure. Amateur divers continued to explore the lake for over 40 years, finally spotting the legend every local talked about. In 2009, a crowd of 1,000 witnessed the long-sunken Type 22 emerge from the lake. Later, it was sold for around $370,000 at an auction to Peter Mullen. Today, the Bugatti is displayed as a work of art at the Mullen Automotive Museum in Oxnard, California, in the same condition as when it was found at the bottom of the lake. Which of these cars would you most like to find buried in your backyard? Have you ever spotted a cool car in a bad state? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time.